Hey everyone, John Chow here for JohnChow.com. It's Saturday, and I'm here at the San Clemente Outlet for the weekly South OC Cars and Coffee, the uh, biggest weekly car meetup in the world. Let's check it out. The show has started for, I guess, about 10 minutes now, and I see cars are still coming in. Mm -hmm. So there we have one of the volunteers directing traffic. Yeah, sunny day today, so, and I see a big crowd. The Cars and Coffee merchandise tent right here. Yeah, quite the traffic jam today. <laughs> yeah, when the sun comes out, the car comes out and the people comes out. So uh, uh, check out this thing from Montana. <laughs> Montana. Interesting stuff about Montana City. A lot of supercar owners register the car Montana to save on a sales tax or some kind of registration, even though they don't actually live in Montana. Montana is a home to like a bunch of Bugattis and uh, McLarens and special Ferraris, but they don't, they're not actually there, you know? <laughs> so check out this uh, 720 Spider. Nice. Yeah. Notice the uh, air intake on the side because it basically splits the door in half. Air goes in there and, you know, just so you don't see that big gap opening on, on here like you do in other supercars. Yeah, lots of carbon options on this one. Carbon. Mm. Porsche, I see. Yeah, S2000, some BMW. <laughs> a, a pretty big crowd. Alright, so starting in row one, Simon's Cromero, James Cromero, next level detail Audi R8, and the Polestar, one of the sponsors of Cars and Coffee. I still haven't taken out a Polestar to test drive yet. I, I do plan to do it eventually. And check out this uh, Ford GT. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's a beautiful color combination right there. Beautiful, beautiful car. I mean, look at that. Look, I, mean, I love this piece. It goes right to, to the other side. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. And then here we have the Audi R8 that you can rent, I guess. See? That your car pay your bill. So these guys are, are share. is an is an smartphone app. And if you have an exotic car, you can download the share app and basically put your car to work. Right? So people will uh, rent your car by the hour, by the day, or whatever, and you can make some money from it. And there's J4 GT, and there's the man standing next to his car. You realize is how you race your car, not how you stand next to your car. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you get this guy. Okay. Pretty wild. Wow, that's in <laughs> holy. They have a rainbow color. Yeah, it's clearly a wrap job, but it's kind of cool the way the light reflects on it. Oh, yeah. hey, oh check out Skinny's World. Yeah, that's an Audi R8 there. Cool tires, cool wheels and tire combination. Yeah. 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 Aventador Spider. Ooh. A Diablo. Or is it a Murcielago? I can't. I, they look very similar. I believe this is a Murcielago. Actually, no. It's my mistake. It is a Diablo. It's a Diablo VT. Diablo VT. With a six speed gated shifter. And I noticed there's a warning thing on there. Warning, children can be killed or injured by passenger airbag. Make sure all children under 12 use a seat belt or child seat. Okay. Nice warning from Lamborghini there. <laughs> Ferrari Testarossa in yellow, nice. Miami Vice style. And hey, one thing I noticed about Testarossa, this Testarossa, this Testarossa was made in an age where if you didn't have an airbag, you need to do a passive safety restraint. So you, you see it has auto seat belt. So it's already latched in place. So you, you, you get in it, you gotta go under the seatbelt. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, another Aventador Spider. 458 Spider. Uh, another Aventador. 720 with a body kit. And a bunch of bandages. Another 720 with the same body kit, but just they left the paint pretty much alone. 600 LT and F8 and F8 with a cool carbon badge. It's not painted, it's like an emblem. A white HRE wheel, definitely a unique combination. Oh, check this out. Now this is how you, I guess, hit the ski slopes. Yeah, hit the ski slope. Uh, but however, you know, you might want to change out the summer tires. Nice Ferrari Pista. And another Ferrari Pista. Wow, so here we have two. You know, one has the, uh, the one on the right has the Italian flag livery or the stripe. And the one on the left just has the regular stripe. Which one do I like? Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this one because of the red interior. All right, check that out. Now that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, this is nice too, but uh, yeah, that red interior definitely makes the car stand out. Yeah, now. I think I would take the Italian stripes on the right and put it on the car on the left, that would be perfect. Another 600, the 200 plus miles an hour uh, R8, AMG GTC, convertible AM, basically it's a convertible version of the GTS Mercedes. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite nice, it's very popular in California because, well, you know, California weather. Nice interior, black and white combination. This is a, a good combo. Ferrari 458 Special Alley. Very nice. And oh, check out this uh, AMG Formatic SUV. I'm not SUV, but station wagon. <laughs> yeah, hot rod station wagon, Mercedes version. GT3, GTC, S63 AMG. This is a basically S-Class version of the coupe. Yeah, coupe version of the S-Class Mercedes. Another GT3, Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. And here we have a 600 LT Spider. That's very nice, I like those wheels. Love those wheels. Yeah, great interior. And my favorite feature, the 600, the top side exhaust. You know, that by, by mounting the exhaust here instead of there, was, uh, McLaren was able to shorten the exhaust, make it shorter, therefore save weight. So there you go. <laughs> you know, every pound counts for McLaren. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a mask anymore here at Cars and Coffee, it's because, well, I've been vaccinated. There you go. And you should too. Help kill this coronavirus. Get vaccinated. I haven't seen one of these things since I was uh, last in Asia or Japan. Around that area. This is like, <laughs> it's, I mean, look, see, here's a regular American station wagon. And this is the, uh, the Japanese version of the pickup truck. And here's another American version of the pickup truck. And then we have, uh, this thing defines the tiny pickup truck right here. So yeah, all right, so check it out, check it out. I mean, basically you're, you're sitting on the wheel. Yeah, there, there, there's the wheel and that's where you sit. All right, and simple, simple setup. There's the bed, yep. And the funny thing is, you know, this bed is actually almost the same, actually, I think it is the same size as, you know, the, the American bed. But this thing is like, is like one third the size. <laughs> uh, I can tell you one thing, I would not want to be in an accident in this thing. Check out this Volkswagen. Yeah. Cool. 
Still operational sunroof, very impressive. Lots of space on the inside, no center console, no nothing, and not much space on the back seat. But yeah, haha. <laughs> cool. Uh, license, good license plate there. So this uh, <laughs> this the uh, one here is uh, missing its hood, but since it's missing hood, you can get a good look at the supercharger. So this thing right here, that's that's, that's a supercharger right on top of the car, and uh, I gotta tell you, it's it's not a very good looking supercharger, but you know it works, it works. And again, but in case you didn't know, uh, this little guy here, his name is Jake. All right, check out this vintage muscle by the hooligan. The hooligan. <laughs> Hoods on the roof to show off the big block. And this is indeed one of the original big blocks. Check it out. And uh, I noticed the updated the suspension. Kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, no fender, so, you know, no, so, you know, rolling around, get on motor, whatever. That's a big Holly double bumper. And yeah, that's a big block. Big and heavy. Oh, uh, another big block. So yeah, look at the three inch headers on there. Whoa. L Brock intake, Holly double pumper, MSD, the whole shebang. Now here's something you're not going to see every day. I think it's called a, a Jupiter, so something like that. But what's unique about this is the motor. That's why, that's why the hood's up, and it's a flat four. Like it's it's basically like a Porsche's flat six, but this is a flat four. ZL1 Camaro, and oh yeah, this is the uh, the Tesla that Simon told me about. The one I thought I had a V in there is not. It has V8 sound. So among the many modifications in this car, the fender flares, the call the carbon bits and the wheels and stuff, it also has a, a V8 sound. So it has an external speaker that tied to this acceleration pedal when you step on it, it makes various sounds. Yeah. Sound of a V8 or V12 or horses galloping, whatever you want, you know. I mean be creative. So here we have an infinity with uh, lower suspension and nice wheels and then here we have an infinity that with a really low suspension and and wheels that may need a camber adjustment uh, yeah that's a uh, that's a uh, neat so I can say about that it's is the actually let, let me film this from the back so you can uh, you can get an idea of what it looks like uh, yeah Mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, not my cup of tea, but I'm not going to judge. I mean, I'm pretty sure this will wear out the tire unevenly. And it'll definitely look kind of strange driving down the road like this, but hey, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Regular Infinity. There you go. Looks like the outlet has um, an event tonight. You can see they're setting up the stage for something. This little BMW coupe with the uh, inline six. It's got the biggest turbo I've ever seen on an inline six. I mean, you can see the heat blanket on it to keep trying to keep it cool, along with the thermal on the exhaust part, and then the additional heat shield on the suspension tower, and on the hood I mean <laughs> yeah hot 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 <laughs> this is not a regular Civic this is a Civic of a supercharger it's a pretty clean supercharger installed in this engine so you can see supercharger driven by the drive out here but instead of the instead of the air coming this way the air is kicking from this side with a cold air intake right there yeah and a supercharger right there I don't see the intercooler so I imagine the boost is pretty limited, 
But what I do notice is the, uh, the fuse box here stick to the battery, so he probably has a nice aftermarket sound system. So let's listen to the sound of this Corvette backing up. With an Aka Volpig exhaust system. <laughs> and huge 4-inch pipes, wow. I like it. This AC Cobra is pretty cool. Uh, the engine setup. Yeah. Eight individual throttle bodies. Okay, so you can see the you can see the throttle inside each of them. Eight of them. The tuning must be uh, pretty tough, and it looks like a real good setup. You don't want to you want to show it off, right? You know, like this guy. That's why the hood's up. You want to show it off, but when the hood's down, how do you show it off? Well, what you do is you know. Clear plexiglass, there you go. This way when the hood's down, you can still see the eight individual throttle bodies. All right, so here we have the V8 sound. <laughs> Do you have galloping horses? It actually sounds pretty cool. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he also got the additional uh, aftermarket aftermarket display for the for the in front. So you know, normally the Model Three just has the uh, center console display, but this is uh, you can buy these at aftermarket. So you can you know in case you don't want, you want something in front of you. Yeah. So. There you go, the V8 sound is actually pretty neat. <laughs> Maybe I should add that to my Tesla. What do you think? Hi, you Balls and coffee is dog friendly. All right, here we have a real Baja race car. Right. <laughs> Look at that suspension setup. Huge travel. The mid-engine with the intake right there, pretty much next to the driver. Yeah, net, driver, and a good look at the rear X rear, the rear suspension system. I mean, look at the travel on these shocks. It must be a good over one foot of travel. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Cool Alfa Romero. And check out this Volvo, Volvo engine here. So I see the turbo engine, I see the intake, and the turbo's way in the back there instead of the front. So Archie, not my say the intake goes here, the turbo goes there, goes off of here for the intercooler, and then back into the intake. Man, the turbo lag on this thing must be crazy. But once it's on boost, oh boy, watch out. Another 600 LT. An Austin Martin four door, nice, it's beautiful. Ferrari Austin Martin Vantage, another Vantage. This is the uh, AMR edition, Austin Martin Racing. A little more power, another another AMR. And oh, check out the Superleggera. The paint job is nuts. Like it's got one of these paint jobs that changes colors depending on how you look at it. Let me. It's blue. It's purple. It's uh. It's metallic. That is, yeah, like, depending on how you look at it, the color changes. Superleggera Spider. Audi R8, GD3 RS, uh, not an Audi, an Audi. Oh, the super station wagon. Lamborghini SPJ. Porsche, another Lamborghini. And I see over there the, uh, the Ferrari pizza is about to leave. And it's a whole, actually a whole bunch of cars about to leave. And these cars are just idling, but they're pretty damn loud.
Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I do not advise removing the catalytic converters from your car. It makes the car smell. It makes it louder, but damn, that stinks. Okay, so this is a South OC Cars and Coffee. Happens every Saturday from uh, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And if you're on car enthusiasts, this is the spot to be on Saturday morning. John Shop and John Shop .com. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like or a thumbs up. Like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.